you can choose to invert this so rather than going up in pitch it's going to go down in pitch which oscillator it affects or if it alters the master at all and here we can assign it to particular functions for example I can choose here for it to alter the filter frequency this is going to alter the filter frequency 100% let's get rid of the pitch doesn't sound any different naturally enough because we don't have a filter in place this is now altering the LFO filter one frequency and so you can choose to have this affecting a lot of the controls within this along with master parameters and controller data as you can see here this could alter macro control CC24 by 100% what is CC24 altering? whatever I want it to alter depending on what I assign it to as we can see here, the NFO depth is assigned to 24. If I add in the pipe, I could have this choose, for example, to go against the master time. And we can see here, it is going away very quickly. So let's slow this down quite a bit. And we can see how it is moving these in due effect, depending on what I choose here as a selection. I make this a sine wave so it's smoother we can see how these are now moving accordingly and so you can assign your NFO or combinations of to control many parameters and so essentially and very tongue-in-cheek I say that's all there is to Absinthe 4 it's a very complex application as such because it is giving you choices galore and really giving you the user absolute control over the tonality but all you have to do if you find it very confusing is break it down to small steps the browsers and so forth are very simple the waveform once you actually realize how you're controlling or triggering this is also actually generally pretty simple just choose what you want as an initial waveform click on new and then there it is that you can now alter it so it's nice and visual and very easy to affect the effects are also pretty clear just choosing what you want it to actually affect and if you're happy with the idea of LFOs then you should be good to go with those the only complex part as such would be how you assign your controllers and what you're actually choosing them to affect and group anything that you desire to alter in real time and as we can see we can make this an X and Y or we can make it into separate sliders so you can pair these up if you've only got for example eight controllers instead of the potential 16 here no problem pair them up and you can control two things at once the best way probably of learning your way around how this is actually working is to either create a new sound and just work on a singular sound source a singular oscillator element or conversely go in the opposite direction start off with a sound that's similar to what you're actually thinking say for argument's sake some sort of dark bass sound I'll go for this one and see the elements that it has and then tweak these however you desire and gradually shaping the MIP into your new waveform sound